hi guys welcome back to my channel so i know it has been a super long time since the last time we've seen each other and communicated like this you know just you and me like you and me just us two it has been a while about half a year or so i'm here to tell you guys that that's all gonna change now <laughs> i am back and ready to stay and I am sweating right now. I just want you guys to know and feel like connected with me, but I am sweating so much because we have so much to talk about and I need to catch you guys up on everything. For those of you that are on here and don't really care about what's going on um, with my life, you know, you're just like here with negativity and all that toxic stuff. Go ahead and click out of this video because there's actually a lot of serious talk topics that I want to talk to you guys about. My life has changed dramatically since last time that I've actually spoken to you guys on here. I've been trying to keep up with posting pictures on Instagram, but it has been hard. If you see my Instagram pictures and see like the time between I post this picture and this picture, it might be like lengthy. I am trying to be more active and I am really looking forward to being back on YouTube, back on social media. I am starting a business, which you guys will know about soon enough. I am super, super excited about it, but I have been in the works of trying to get everything done like legally so that I'm able to share it with you guys. Let's talk from where we last left off. I have everything written down on my iPad. Go through everything consecutively so you guys know what the tea is. There's a lot of tea, okay? A lot of tea on me, basically. <laughs> so much we have to talk about, but you know what? We're getting it out there. So since you guys last saw that video, um, yes, I was engaged. Hence the ring. Yeah, you guys see it. Check it out. Okay. Um, I was engaged. I am no longer engaged. I am... You guys see this other ring on my finger? Yep, I got married. And I'm so happy. And I want to share every single detail with you guys. And I do have a video coming soon. I'm just waiting for my videographer to send me all the, um, you know, wedding videos. So I'm able to share that with you guys and um do a vlog if you guys want to know more in detail about everything you let me know like i said i know there's a lot of negative people on here and that might be trolling and just be negative you know just bye okay leave please leave i don't need to know what your opinion is or whatever because you know what i'm married okay so that's it end of story done that's what that's what happened so I will update you guys a little bit more on the whole marrying situation, how we met and how I've been traveling so much lately and all this fun stuff that him and I are doing. And I know you guys want to know who this person is, where did he come from, what happened, Veronica, like what the hell, you're married, like explain. Yeah we will okay we'll get there in april the beginning of april i was working as a phlebotomist medical assistant that's what I, you guys all want to know like what i do and like what am i are you a nurse blah 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 no it's in the works and unfortunately that's all on pause right now and i will explain to you guys why decided to quit my job because i had to your girl had to get out of there okay it was just toxic it was too much i was there for way too long and i just had to leave okay so your girl's not working there anymore we moved on with our lives since then i have been planning my wedding which again you guys i'm gonna update you you guys will know everything that you want to know if you have like any question leave it down below in the comments tell me because like i said i am here i'm here to answer i have all this time to talk to you guys and um be one-on-one -on -one. my husband actually bought me a new computer you guys so i am here and i am ready to get editing and to you know we're about to be like bff you and i you watching this video you you and me we're getting there I'm not gonna lie i was feeling pretty depressed after i quit my job sorry i'm like i feel like my tongue is dry right now i'm sweating i'm sweating like i'm sweating oh that's a scar on my head yeah if you guys wonder why i always put my bangs like here it's because of that scar so we just gonna hide him for a second this part of my leg like this 
it's sweating. I, I need to get it together. But where did I leave off? God, this video is going everywhere. Um, I lost my job and not lost my job. I quit my job in around um, April. And fast forward to the month of June. Now, June was my birthday, so it was a super chaotic month. June 1st, for those of you guys wondering, was my birthday. I had a lot of fun with all my friends, with my fiance at the time. And uh, we all went out. We, you know, had a couple drinks. You guys, I got so trashed on my birthday. It was not even, it's, it's not even cute. Like, it really is not cute. Like, I was gone like it was disgusting i felt like crap i can't even think about taking a shot alcohol even gets remotely near me i can smell it and girl i'm gonna gag I had like a bachelorette party all in june um i'm sorry june was a crazy month like i said it was my birthday it's a month away from my wedding and um so i'm still going crazy planning everything going back and forth and oh by the way Yes, I planned the wedding myself with my husband, now husband. We planned the wedding together, so it was super chaotic, crazy. Like like I said, there's so many things that you don't even think about that we had to do. <laughs> like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. You guys, when you plan a wedding on your own, holy crap. Like, it is stressful. It's stressful, I'm just going to say that. And then you have family, not only that. You know, you're getting married, so you have family that's pulling you back and forth, and they're like, oh my god, like, we want to do this for you, we want to do that for you, we're going to have a bridal shower, you're going to have a bachelorette party, blah, this, that, this, that, and we're, like, in the mix of all that, we are, like, closing down, you know, prices, uh, booking people, all this crap, you guys, it's expensive on that, like, it's just, it's a lot. In the mix of all that, I want to share with you guys excuse me sorry i'm gross my grandpa is like my second dad he has been with me my whole life and supporting me and him and my grandma have been honestly they've been my rock through it all and my grandma from the moment she met my husband now she knew from literally the first date she called it the first date she's like is he gonna propose to you grandpa was very sick in the month of june he, um, you know, is a bit old, an old man. We kind of knew that my grandpa didn't have much time left. And this was about two weeks, um, a week and a half before my wedding. You know, nurses and doctors kind of told us, you know, any day could be his last day. All my grandpa would say and think about was like, oh my God, you know, you're getting married, you know, it's gonna be a beautiful wedding. Like, I can't wait for it. You know, was very happy for me and loved me very, very much. Fortunately, my grandpa did pass away, which I knew I had to talk about in this video and it's still a tough pill to swallow. Sorry, I didn't wanna cry, you guys, I didn't wanna cry. I knew I had to talk about this in the video, and that's why I was kind of hesitant to post it, but, um... He passed away the day after I had got married. The last day that we went to go visit him, he looked at me and he told me that he loved me, and... that he wanted me to be happy. He loved me very much and he wanted us not to be sad, but to be happy. And um, that was hard. Yeah, that was very, very hard. Um, I got married on July 13th and my grandpa passed away on the 14th of July. I was going through a lot of stress um, in the month of July, my fiance would tell me, you know, when you sleep at night, it's like your eyes, like you're closing your eyes, but your eyes are moving. And I would tell him all the time, like I was dreaming, like all the time. And you guys know when you're dreaming, your body, your mind is awake. So you're not really fully rested. I was dreaming every night. I was having caffeine, like coffee, like crazy. I think it all kind of caught up to me, my grandpa's health, uh, that I actually ended up having a seizure before I got married was also extremely scary for me. Um, this was three days before I got married. I had a seizure and I was rushed to the ER. Um, I was unconscious. I don't know if any of you guys 
um, have ever had a seizure before. I know it's not very common, but basically what a seizure is, if you guys don't know, um, you know, look it up, read about it, but um, your brain is basically, you're like spazzing out. A seizure, a typical seizure lasts anywhere from a minute to three minutes. My seizure lasted about six and a half to seven minutes. Um, so it was a very long seizure, which is very scary and very not good for you. I do take medicine now to prevent seizures. So I am taking medicine for it. Unfortunately, I do have to be on this medication for about two years. Um, at least that's what the doctor told me. It's unlikely for me to get a seizure, um, you know, within the next week after I've already had one. Typically people have seizures, you know, a little bit spaced out from each other. Another huge thing is because I had the seizure and I'm taking this medicine, I got my license, license suspended. So I am not allowed to drive, which sucks so bad. Was in the process of getting ready to go back to school and now that is just more of an inconvenience for me you know because I can't drive myself there so I'm gonna have to pay for uber pay for this and you know it's just kind of annoying I'm so incredibly thankful that I have such a strong man at my side you guys seriously he is incredible and I wish I could show and show you guys or have every single one of you guys meet him um, for those of you who care to meet him. I even have like separation anxiety. I am so attached to this man. I love him so much from the bottom of my heart and he is my whole entire world. I am so happy and so grateful that you guys, whoever it is, made it to the end of this video. Even if it's only one or two of you guys, you, you watching this video right now, you made it to the end and I love you. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon.